Mail app has slowly grown more valuable over the years. Apple has introduced updates to the formatting, the ability to include scans and attachments, plus the reply menu is more robust. You can even change the default mail app to one you like if you're not happy with Apple Mail. In this week's video, I'll walk you through some useful tips to help you get the most out of Apple Mail on your iPhone or iPad. Make sure your software is up to date so you can enjoy all the new features. If we haven't met, I'm Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. If you find value in this video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss when a new video gets posted. Let's get started. Let's start with fonts and formats. I'm gonna open up Apple Mail, and on the upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna select uh, compose a new email. I'm going to place my cursor in the compose area and you'll see that above the keyboard where the predictive text area is you'll you have some options. I'm going to go ahead and tap on the formatting option which is the double A and you'll see that you have a lot of options here. You can change the default font if you choose. You can change the color of the font. You can do bullet lists, numbered lists. You can center the text or take it to the left or to the right. You can change the indentation. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste in some test text and I'm going to select that text so that you can see a little bit about what you can do. So if I wanted to change the color, I could just come in here and tap on that. Uh, once I do that, I can hit return, and if I want to add a bullet list, I can go ahead and tap on that and then start typing out that list. And when I hit enter, the next bullet will appear. Um, you can do many things uh, under the formatting option that you may not have even been aware of. Let's move on to some other options. Next to the formatting option is your image area. So I'm going to tap on that. It takes me into my uh, photos library and it's going to show you just your most recent photos. You can slide up to make sure you're seeing all of your most recent photos. And if you want to, you can choose all photos and that will take you into your complete photo library. I'll just go ahead and tap on a photo to add it and now I've added a photo to the, uh, to the email and I'm going to tap below it to bring the cursor down below. Now let's take a look. You can also add a photo or video. So if I open that, you're basically just going to see uh, my messy desk. So I'm not going to do that, but you can tap on the uh, camera icon, take a photo or a video to add to your um, email. The next option is a scanning option. If you tap on that, it opens the camera app, but into scanning mode. So it allows you to scan a document and quickly place it into an email. To the far right, we have the files option. If I tap on the files option, I can come into my files area and select a file. And now that file has been placed inside of the email. And then your last option is markup. So markup allows you to write on a document, a photo, or, or just add in a drawing. So if I tap on markup, you'll see that it comes to a blank slate where I can go ahead and choose any of the tools below and start drawing or writing. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on done and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the photo and then tap on markup. It brings the photo into um, the markup area and now you can choose a tool and uh, change the size of, of the um, drawing area. And so if I just start drawing on here, you'll see, let me erase that real quick and I'll just write in uh, that this is Peggy's Cove. And then when you're finished, tap done. And now you'll see that that image has been marked up and it's inside of your email message. When you're done composing the message, you'll, 
you know, make sure that everything is set up. You have the two filled in and the subject line and you go ahead and hit send and all of that information will be sent to the recipient. In the beginning of this video, I mentioned how robust the reply menu has become. So open any email that you want to reply to and tap on the reply icon in the bottom right corner and the menu appears and you'll see that you have the options right in front of you to reply, forward, trash. You have the option to flag it as important. You can move the message, archive the message. You can choose notify me so that you're notified of any important updates uh, to that uh, email. You can mute that email if you want so you don't get um, alerted to any updates. And then finally at the very bottom, you can print that email. So Apple has really made this a more robust email program. Apple Mail also has a pop-up menu that you can use to get to those same reply options. If you press and hold on any email in your inbox, you'll see this pop-up menu appear and it basically gives you the same options that you find down in the right-hand corner on the reply menu. Maybe you want to stop receiving email from somebody. You can go ahead and block them. Come into the email, select their name at the top, a window will appear, and you can go ahead and tap on block this contact. You're going to ask to confirm it. Go ahead and confirm it. And when you do, that contact will be blocked. But if in the future you decide to uh, unblock them, you can come back in to the message. You can tap unblock the contact and the contact will be immediately unblocked. However, if you're still not happy with Apple Mail and would prefer to use your own email application, you can do that by coming into the settings area, scrolling until you see your email application, and I like to use Spark, so I'm going to tap on that, and underneath you'll see default mail app, and right now it's Apple Mail. I can click on that and change it to Spark. I can also show you that once I do that, if I come back into Apple Mail, you'll see here it tells me that the default uh, mail app has been changed to Spark. So you can always change it back and forth, uh, whatever you choose to do. One more thing I want to show you in Apple Mail is if you are in the Apple Mail settings or the mail settings, if you want to change your signature, you may have noticed that my signature said sent from my iPad. Well, you can come in to the settings area, go to the mail option, scroll to the very bottom, and then you can type in the signature that you want, your name, your email address, uh, whatever it is that you want people to see when they receive an email from you. Let me know in the comments section which mail app you prefer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.